Okay, so we're back three hours later. Um, so I'd already kind of gone over why do note cards wise. Um, I did that for the whole first section with dividing it up into terms, cases, uh, what you know, what you don't know, knocking that down. Um, the second one was a Kahoot, which I had never created, but that was pretty fun to create it. Made me definitely recall some of the cases from exam number two. And then for um, the third, uh, I guess, like section or third tool I'm going to give you guys is, um, it's from the last section and copyright was such a big thing. Um, how many times you have to apply the fair use test and stuff like that. And to different cases, um, I took like the terms from that and I like to do this too when I'm making note cards. Um, so I want to note that, but I like to, um, like if I'm really, really struggling with the term, I like to like just put the, um, either make an analogy or put like this the first, like for, um, sorry, I'm like blanking, uh, the digital, digital millennium copyright act. See, I only could recall that because well, we're going to go over that. Like I would put like DMCA and for my analogy, I know what that means. Um, so let's go ahead, I guess, and dive in and get started. Um, so copyright, this is so tacky, but like a couple of my friends that I study with, like <laughs> we're on like the group FaceTime and they know I'm like the queen of analogies. So, um, so, so copyright is like I have on here, the definition it protects original works of authorship fixed in any tangible medium of expression. This is something that Professor Johnson um, articulated like tangible, like not a recipe, not facts. Um, like facts can't be uh, copyrighted, like because it's not a creative like idea. Um, so like, uh, so like, you know, facts can't be copyrighted because the, uh, the case where they copied the phone book in the phone book company, I said, well, sorry, just facts. Okay, or the court said that. So, <laughs> copyright, copy machine produces something tangible. So think of a copy machine and it produces something tangible comes out. And when something tangible comes out, cop it's copyrighted. Like, that's how I think of that. And then, like, a big thing that helped me, because I was like, wait, a recipe, like, or uh, phone numbers, like, that's not, like, but it's because, um, so, like, a copy machine, like, when something tangible comes out of a copy machine, if you send a fax, nothing comes out. So, like, fax, um, I, that helped me a lot. Um, I know it helped a couple of my friends. So you think facts, like F-A-C-T-S and F-A-X, um, nothing comes out, not copyrighted. Um, so that's something that I guess is a fun little way. So copy, like you were just now just talking about like copyright, something tangible comes out, so it's a tangible medium of expression. Okay, moving on to the next term. Um, so the fair use test. Um, four part test and how I remember that is because the word fair four parts or four letters parts letters um and then I had on my note card for this last exam before like I knew the format was changing w3 uh so I think w cubed like fair use test w cubed I'm not a math person don't know why but like if there's a lot of like a repetition of um orders and sets like n squared or I don't know, W cube. So like I think of the note card, which is for my first set tool, and then I think W cubed. So what's the nature of the new work? What's the nature of the original work? What's the substantially or use? Substantiality or use of the new work and effect on the market. So effect on the market's the oddball out. But I feel like when you get to the substantial stamp she yeah, substan the amount of the, like, of the work that you're using, you can kind of, 
like markets kind of oddball out. Um, another thing that like I, when I was sitting here trying to come up with like creative tools and analogies for you guys was W cubed M, but that, so I kept on thinking of world market, <laughs> world market. So you got work three times and you got market. Um, that's something world market. Um, and that this test applies to like a number, like I think it was over two or three lectures. And yes, you kind of start remembering it every time you write it out, but this helped me like even now, um, what's the nature of the original work? What's the nature of the new work? What's uh, the amount or substantiality of the work and the effect on the market, the world market? I don't know. So that's my third one. And then, um, so vicarious and contributory infringement, um, like when you take someone else's copyright, um, so, like, art's infringing, I guess, on someone else's copyright, so, what I think of is, like, contribute, like, contribute, contributory infringement, like, when you contribute something in a group project, like, contributory and contribute are, like, very similar, and if everyone else does the work and you don't, and you sit there and your name's on it, that's like you're taking someone else's work and like bypassing it as your own, if that makes sense. So um, example, I thought an example for this was uh, for my uh, 4204. If I didn't touch Adobe programs and I sat there and then I, um, like, took, like, not took, like, I didn't contribute, like, how I think is, like, I'm infringing on someone else's copyright, even though their work isn't copyrighted, that, like, you turn in and it's plagiarized, well, I don't know if that, whatever, that's a whole other thing, but, like, that's how I think of that as, um, but just think of the work, contribute, contributory infringement, contribute, so my last one is my favorite one. It's the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Um, so this was like, it's very kind of similar, like when it was brought up in lectures, brought up with like the Communications Act. Um, and as much as like, I know you guys can all remember Digital Millennium Communications Act, the last, um, what I'm literally gonna do because I had the hardest time, like, trying to, like, come up with an analogy, was I kept on thinking it was the YMCA. So now, like, if you do YMCA, I really hope this is never shown besides outside this final. Um, so if you do, like, YMCA, like, DMCA, Digital Community, Digital Millennium Copyright Act, and that was, like, based off of the Communications Act, um, so, like, I know, like, in my notes, I had abbreviated, like, DMCA, but, like, if you think Digital Millennium Copyright Act, sorry, my re-roll, Digital Millennium Copyright Act off the Communications Act, like, that, I don't know, with YMCA and, like, communicating, um, so, I don't know, these are some analogies that I have, um, I don't know if they're, I think they're benefit on how to be successful in this course because there's a lot of um, tests, there's a lot of acts, there's a lot of theories, there's just whatever. And like I mentioned earlier, it is fundamental to know like the basic, the basic stuff um, compared to the, um, compared to like just the cases. Like I know cases are a decent part of the test, but understanding that because then you can um, kind of categorize in your head, like, with, uh, like, fair use test, like, world market, okay, what, like, cases fall under the fair use test, because I know what, and then I, if, um, I know, like, details of each case, then I can apply the test if I don't remember word for word what John, Professor Johnson said in the test, um, so that's just, I guess, a fun way that I do it, um, so, don't forget, YMCA, 
Um, and then this is like me being very creative. I'm not a creative person. So that, um, your contr contributory, contributory infringement, contribute. If you sit there in your day school class, don't do anything. Just think about that. And you're like bypassing off as your own. Fair use test, world market. So WM, W cubed M. And then um, copyright, copy machine. And um, I wish I had a copy machine up here downstairs, but copy machine versus facts um, that you're just, you know, repeating over and over again. So anyway, I hope you guys, and like that's also, oh, I was also thinking about this, like that is also um, how like the court, like in that book, the court ruled how it was his opinion or like his, uh, the president's like, I guess, so yeah, like, opinion of, like, what happened or not. It wasn't, like, even though it was fast, but what happened, it was, like, his view on that. That kind of helps me also, um, like, se separate, have them, like, facts and copyright be separate, like, from ideas. So, anyway. Okay, well, I hope this is helpful, but don't forget, YMCA. Okay, bye.